Welcome to the Veterans Gaming Podcast. My name is Kevin. This is Football Manager 24, episode 18 of my old uh, athletic career mode. We've won four in a row. We are cooking. We are cooking right now, and I'm loving it. And we have finally, finally moved up into a playoff spot. Let's look at the standings right here. Uh, Rochdale have taken over first place from Salaho Muirs. Salaho Muirs have pretty much led the entirety of the season until now. Rochdale lead on goal difference. You got Chesterfield, Halifax, Barnett, and then finally Oldham. We get in there. Maidenhead right behind us at 45 points. One, obviously one point behind us. So as it stands right now, we'd be in the playoffs, but we've got about 17 more games to go. With that being said, we've won four in a row. So let's get ready to win number five. We will be playing Barnett in three days. Uh, we just did the press conference for our last win, which was against East League. So let's uh, start moving on here. Here we go. A comfortable win for Oldham. Saw Mark Kitching named player of the match after Oldham's 3-1 to Van Arama National League win over East League this afternoon. The defender played superbly and looked really comfortable on the ball. Man, he did. He had two assists. He was he was awesome. Okay, for uh, Salaho Muirs, uh, they beat Dagon Red 6-2. Uh, Hassan Ayadi gets the job done. And rightfully so, he gets the player of the week. Uh, let's see, 21-year-old attacking midfielder. Hmm, okay, it looks like, looks like he, they've got a pretty good player on their hands there. Uh, he's a player that, you know, I don't think he'll be coming to us. So let's continue. Okay, let's see what we got here. Lewis Rhodes, uh, he's agreed to join Ashton United, so they've got him locked up for the rest of the season. <clears throat> okay, so this is the first day after uh, the East League game. Again, Mark Kitchen was the best player on the pitch today with a star performance in the Vanarama National, catching the attention of a number of observers and becoming a hot topic of conversation on social media. A comfortable win for Oldham saw Mark Kitching named player of the match after Oldham's 3-1 Vanarama National League victory over East League. All right, and he was he was immaculate, no question about it. <clears throat> Post-match analysis, we should be very happy with the result. We outplayed the opposition. And the scoreline reflects the quality we showed, no question. Recent form analysis. Okay, uh, let's see. The only negatives, uh, 170 of, of the 361 occasions on which we've allowed the opposition into the attacking third. Uh, only three of our 71 attacks have led to attempts on goal have involved Ryan Glover. Seven attempt goals have been scored from positions close to the penalty spot, which makes a lot of sense. So we've got a whole lot of a lot of positives here, only a couple of negatives, which is good. Okay. We've got Hammond. Oliver Jack Hammond. He's uh, another one uh, from Nottingham Forest. Let's see what we got as far as alterations. I feel Oliver Hammond's game would improve if he were encouraged to get forward whenever possible, as his strong athletic presence lends itself well to frequently breaking into attacking areas. Okay, and he's a Good crosser. He's not far from first team level. Only 21 years old. And he's okay. So we we could have we could have something really good here. Let's see what's his one negative. Has no strong feeling about the squad support of the head coach, which remains at a very good level. Helps he'll learn a lot. Okay. So we'll, I'm willing to give this willing to give this young man a chance. Let's go back. Let's uh, decline the press conference. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Joe Donahue is going to be going to Ashton United as well on, on loan. He's a young prospect who's way off first team level, so if things don't work out over there, that, that's fine. Let's continue. <clears throat> Match preparation for Barnett. Uh, we're going to study how they react immediately after turnovers. We're going to study their defensive setup at corners to identify vulnerabilities. And we're going to prepare for how the opposition likes to set up from attacking free kick situations. All right, let's continue. Lots of emails here. Team selection advice. 
Uh, Langley's going to start ahead of Norman. Sorry. They're suggesting 10 changes. Uh, let's see. We've got Ethan Walker. Uh, we've got the new guy, Andrew Dallas. Let's see what we got for him. Uh, slight struggles, but let's not. Let's uh, move on from that one. Okay, let's add him as a penalty taker. Uh, that, that's fine. Okay, he he looks like he's a solid player. So we've we've got something here. So we've got another new one here, Glenn Ethan Walker, who's going to play on the left wing. He's got quite a lot of uh, good uh, physical attributes, not so much, and some mental. Uh, not not a lot of technical stuff though. All right. So I think I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this lineup, but I'm gonna I'm just going to put Langley in. All right, Oldham's home advantage gives them the edge in what should be a close encounter against Barnett, according to Planet Football. Oldham are currently lying in sixth place in the Vanarama League. A defeat could see Oldham fall as far as eighth, meaning they will no longer occupy a playoff spot. Let's let's make let's a win here. So uh, Andrew Dallas, he's only here from Barnsley for four months. Well, hopefully he can make the best of it. The opposition report, Finley Potter, good defender. Reese Hall Johnson, another one that we got to look out for. Nick, Nick Cabamba's crossing stats are outliers. Dale Gorman uh, can shoot from the midfield. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Ryan, Ryan Glover continues to improve. Let's go to the weekly staff meeting. Andrew Dallas could do with individual agility. No, not yet. Nozomi Furuki struggles with stamina and work rate, so an individual endurance training program would help. Oh, his stamina is, is shit. All right, let's move on. Let's move on from that. Sean Hobson's individual quickness training is a bit of a waste of time. Pace and acceleration are not weaknesses. All right. Alfie Averton. Yeah, you know what? Let's put him on loan. Let's send uh, Furuki on loan. Yeah, let's send him on loan too. Give them all a chance to play. Lincoln Green is still young, but he's good enough to be moved to the under 18 squad and become a regular. Let's, let's put him in there for now. Dan Ward. Okay, he's, he's getting better as far as his... Uh, individual training and he could still improve all right josh lundstrom has benefited from individual training and he's improving all right and alfie atherton he's uh he's progressing as far as realizing his potential too uh harrison mcgahee not an influential player anymore i'm in, of the increasing opinion that sam davidson had the potential to become a quality player perhaps slightly surpassing the ability of our best defensive midfielder, Josh Lundstrom. Okay, so what do we got here with Sam Davidson? Exciting young prospect. He's way off first team level, though. So let's put him on the loan list. But and then uh, hopefully that'll help him uh, make good on his potential. Okay. So that's it for, uh, let's see for that. With, what do we got here? You chose to attend the meeting. Yeah, I'm still in the meeting. Okay, let's move on. I thought the meeting was over. Gary Braven has been impressed with the performance of, of, uh, of Dan Langley. He, yeah, he's been he's been on point. So let's end the meeting. Staffing and follow-up actions. Praise his form. And she. I'm delighted with your form. Thanks. I'm happy right now too. All right, that helped out. He's very happy. And he's starting. He's going to start again uh, against Barnett. All right, we've got a home match against Barnett. Man, if we could win this, oh my God, I'd be super encouraged. Okay, we've got a lot to talk about here. All right, let's go to the press conference. We're hosting Barnett. Let's go. Sean Hobson appears to be struggling for fitness due to the current fixture congestion. Do you have any plans to rest him for the fixture against Barnett? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but he'll need a rest sooner or later. 
how do you get your team to repeat the sort of performance they put in against East League? That performance is where we want to set the bar. The confidence and self-belief in the squad is high, and we're hoping of playing that way again. How will you handle Nathan Sharon's return to the team after injury? Will he be phased back? Uh, I'm not going to get into hypotheticals right now. We'll see what happens. Do you have an update on Matthew Hudson's injury? I'm expecting him back sooner rather than later, and things are going well. Benny Cotto has been playing well. Wants on Lawson Ashton. How do you envision his long-term development? He's progressing well. And if he can keep going, the sky's the limit. Man, he's nice. Is it time for him to move on from Ashton United in search of a new challenge? He might need a new challenge, but we're hopeful that he can provide that back here. With Dallas only having just signed, will you be holding a press conference to unveil him properly? I don't know. The media team will let you, everyone know that. Some critics have spoken of the significant number of players out on loan from your club and have accused Olam of stockpiling players. How do you react to, react to such criticism? I think these so-called critics should find something more interesting to complain about. Ryan Glover's recent arrival seems to have had a op uh, positive impact on squad morale. With everyone seemingly happier and, and more together since he signed, can you speak a little bit about that? He's been a real breath of fresh air around the place. He's a real asset and has made us better as a team and in a short time here, no doubt. You're on a good streak. How much of this is that down to the air of positivity that seems to be around at the moment? Life is more fun when everybody's happy. Good things are happening. And long it may continue. A defeat here could see Oldham slip out of the promotion playoff places, so presumably you're stressing the importance of a good performance to your players. We're treating it as a must-win match. Will Colin Kagame's reportedly impressive training performances earn him a place against Barnett? He's a real asset to the team if his training performances have been up to scratch. It would only be fair to play him. What are your feelings on Keith Curl's situation at Dorking? It's not my place. Maidenhead have been the field of story of the Vanarama National. So far, with their brilliant performances, defying expectations, what have you made of them? Let's let's talk about my team. All right, so that's the summary. Let's see the press conference. And let's move on to the next day. Oh, there's more emails to answer. Uh, I may rest Hobson. Okay, Mark Kitching is pleased with that. That's that's nice to know. Jake Kane would be a terrific signing, but we've got enough people on the team. No progress as far as finding a defensive and attacking midfielder, but that's okay. But let's go. Let's go to match day. <clears throat> Okay, Stokes, whoever that is, he's uh, Bristol City have signed Aldershot's Josh Stokes. Let me see who this is. Okay, he's a, a attacking midfielder. Looks like he's a pretty good one if he's signing with Bristol City. Good for him. Let's go back. Uh, Chesterfield and Woking will be top billing. Let's see. Here we go. Chesterfield is third, and Woking is sitting in ninth. Okay. Oh, I got two transfers to deal with, too. Expectations are a draw. And then what's up with these two transfers? Okay, Dan Gardner. He's got uh, two offers from Eastbourne Borough and Dulwich Hamlet. Let's take the one uh, for... Uh, Dutch, whatever that is. Okay, we've got to see. And then uh, let's see who else. Okay, so he's gone. And then uh, what we got here? What's the other one? Transfer in. Okay. Okay, then we've got 14 recommendations, but I'm not going to get into all that. Let's continue. Okay, let's see. Maybe this this will help out solve everything. Accept. I'm going to accept that transfer offer. All right. So Dan Garner might be uh, going, hopefully he'll be going to 
Eastbourne Borough, so let him continue and maybe finish his career. Okay, we've got uh, two players on the team of the week, Mark Kitching and Devon Green. That combination is is sizzling. Dag and Red have confirmed uh, Mickey Mellon, who was my the old manager here at Oldham, the man I replaced. So let's see, where's uh, where's uh, Dag and Red? They did beat us the first time, too. That was a disappointing one. Right now, they're sitting 18th in the league, way behind us. All right, let's continue. Let's go to our match against Barnett, a must win. Okay, Devon Green is expecting more playing time, so I guess we're keeping that. Fitness, Willoughby, maybe, maybe for uh, Hudson, maybe for Dickinson. Okay, Hammond will probably play, but he's short of match fitness. Okay, let's go to uh, team selection. Ooh. Okay, this is from the last match. It's important to always trigger a press when the ball is played to Anthony Hardigan, the defensive uh, midfielder right here. So let's uh, press him. See, is there other advice? No. Okay, team selection. Langley starting. Okay, where is... Uh... Kitching over Hogan. Okay. Where is uh, Sharon still hurt? Shelton. Okay, you've got McGahee. I don't want McGahee there. Oh, Raglan, why is the captain not playing? No, 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 no. We got to have Raglan, the captain. I'll probably rest Hobson for this one. He's going to need a rest sooner or later. Okay, we got some capable, we got some really capable guys here that just came in. See, let's put Spencer here, replacing Chapman. I got to have Ryan Spencer in there. Hammond's not ready yet. Okay. All right. I like this. I'm liking this. Mugay, he's got to go, though, so I got to put, I'm going to put Obi in. And we got Kilner. Oh man, I gotta get Talat in there though. Ooh. Okay, Shelton, you're gonna have to sit down. I gotta put Talat in. Not hope. Kagame. Uh, see. Oh, shoot. No, because I'm going to need a wing back. Okay, let's submit the team. Sutton. Longshore and Walker. Okay, let's go. Okay, these guys need numbers. Commonwealth number nine. Dallas number 30. 41 for Ethan Walker. Okay, Commonwealth on good morale too. Okay. Everybody's roused. Everybody's positive. Let's go. Let's take these guys. Let's take Barnett. Not a fan of starting Raglan. Green starting is always a good thing. No question. Okay. Let's go to the dressing room. Okay. Uh, 
individuals. Norwood, make me proud, dude. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's just go. All right. Let's get the fifth win in a row here. Big, big matchup here. Barnett against Oldham. We're in the home blue. Let's make it happen here on the Veterans Gaming Podcast. Kickoff. Collinge. Hardigan. Oh, they got space there with Montgomery. Okay. Aluwo. Collinge. All right. Aluwo. Montgomery, Pritchard. Oh, a lot of space there for Coker. Way too much space. Okay. Now let's see what happens here on the next highlight. <clears throat> okay, free kick for Conlon. Oh, off the post. Okay, Conlon already making an impact here in his debut. Now let's go. Raglan. All right. Oh, we lost it. Oh, shit. Here comes the counterattack. Pritchard. Maguire Drew. <clears throat> Hall Johnson. Hardigan. Hall Johnson. Montgomery. Okay, good save by Langley. Nice. Nice save. Nice save. Corner. For Barnett. Pritchard. Okay, good clearance. Good job, Kitching. All right, come on, guys. Potter, Montgomery, Hardigan, Potter, Coker, good cross. Oh, good clearance by Raglan. Paul Johnson, oh, oh, goal kick for Oldham. Ooh, that was luck. That was a lot of luck there. Okay, let's calm down here. Kitching to Dallas. Kitching. Dallas. Green. Oh, 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 great save. Oh, I thought that was going to be one nothing. Okay, Conlon with the corner. Made way through the first half. Corner for Oldham. Potter. Dickinson. Raglan, oh, okay. Okay, 31 minutes in. D Dallas, Conlon. Oh, he loses the ball to Drew. Okay, but he clears it to Sutton. Dickinson. Conlon. Lundstrom loses it. McGuire, Drew. Paul Johnson. Paul Johnson on the on the flank. McGuire Drew, Pritchard, Steed, Coker. Oh, fantastic save by Langley. Okay, throw in for us. Kitching, Dallas, Mark Kitching, Lundstrom, cross. No. Goal kick. Dallas has impressed in his debut. Langley. Clears it. Dallas. Oh, they want it. Hardigan. McGuire drew to Hall Johnson. Back to McGuire. Uh-oh. Pritchard. Oh, shit. What a great shot. one nothing. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus. We're only down one nothing. Collins. Steed. Good job, Walker. Norwood. Lundstrom. Good job. Okay, we don't have a striker, though. Oh, to Green. He's on side, too. Oh. 
free kick. Okay, hasn't been bad. Okay, in the dressing room, let's see what we got here. You've been terrible. Sort it out. Okay. Let's get inspired. Let's do this. Second half, Dickinson. Ragland. Lundstrom. Bro. Lundstrom's got a yellow card. Potter. Montgomery. Kitching. Nice. To Green. What are you doing? No, that wasn't the pass to make. Montgomery. Devon Green. Good steal. Kitching. Sutton. Give it to Kitching. There you go. To Green. Dallas. Dallas. Oh, I thought that was going to go in. Come on, let's get fired up here. Raglan. Lundstrom. Lundstrom, what are you doing, dude? No. Steed. The fuck? Lundstrom, get the fuck out of there. Get Spencer in. Skip. Press Montgomery. Oh, boy. It's not looking good now. Okay, corner. Conlin. Okay. Okay, let's change the instructions. Let's hit early crosses. Let's be more expressive. There's some longer passes, too. See how that works. Because we got 30 minutes left here. Spencer. Dallas, okay. Dickinson. Oh, what a cross to green. No, that header was not that good, though. That was a sublime cross, though. Kitching. Header. Dallas. What are you doing, dude? Kitching. Spencer. Okay, that's a corner. Okay, Norwood's not doing it. Come on, Alex Reed, do something. Conlon, corner. Okay. I'm going to parade this team here. I'm not even blaming Green Corner. Mark Kitching is done. I got to put OB in. Conlon, Corner. Yes. Kitching, who's about to get substituted. He scores. All right. Number three. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Thank you. Come on. Get fired up, y'all. We still got a chance here. Rance. Luo. Rance. Oluo. Obi. All right. Langley. Obi, back to Langley. Come on, come on now. Come on. Forward, 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 y'all. There you go. <sighs> come on. Potter. Rance. Kanu. Wow, shit. Oh, good save by Langley. He did. Steed should have got a goal there, but. Okay, come on, Langley. Good job. All right, hard again. 76 minute. Good. Steed. Hard again. Oh, there's no one to cover him. Okay, Reed. Nice job. All right, we've got 12 minutes left. Can we pull it off here?
Devon. Can you make it happen? No, oh, that should have been a penalty. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Steed. Three to one. It's over. <sighs> I had no answer for Callum Steed. No answer. Okay, corner, Conlon, Dallas. That's going to be a corner. Okay, we're running out of time here. We need a goal now. Conlon. Obi. What are you doing, dude? Oh, my God. Just do something. Spencer. Okay, there's like seven players on that side of the pitch. Dude, move. Sutton. Okay, green. To read. Okay, three to two. Oh, offsides. Damn it. Walker. Potter. Cullen, look at that look at that gap there. Steed. He's gonna be the He's gonna be a man of the match. Rams. Hardigan. Maguire drew off the post. <sighs> Coker. Hardigan. Maguire drew. Who's kind of oh my gosh. Come on. Where's the defending? Shouldn't have rested Hobson. Free kick, Walker. Okay, that's it. That's it. We got embarrassed at home. Ah. Oh. I think everyone's going a bit over the top with how good we were. But we, yeah, we had a stinker today, no question. Player of the week is going to be Reese Smith. Barnett, they've got a they're on a 10 beat on 10 game on beat and run. Ryan Spencer is gonna get paid. Good for him. Tom Conlon was not bad at all. Okay, the post-match press conference. Now we're in a must-win in the next game. Such a disappointing result. Surely means it's back to the trading ground and back to the drawing board. Yeah, I thought they'd get a day off, but it won't happen now. You can't be happy following a result and a performance like that. We didn't begin to play as well as we're capable of. I was disappointed in every aspect. Your players have a real eye for the goal at the moment, and it's been a long time since they failed to find the net in a game. They must be confident they can sport, uh, score against anybody. Yeah, too much focus on the attacking end could lead to a sloppy play at the back. Why did you pursue with Ethan Walker when it was clear that he wasn't uh, up to it today? I don't see the need to substitute him. I'll always have faith in him. A fairly solid debut for... Uh, Tom Collin, uh, pleased he looked comfortable. Uh, Harry Pritchard had a great match. I don't want to comment on individual performances. Goal, I don't want to talk about that. I don't know, but I respect him as a head coach. Mark Kitching plays a right back. Is that something we might see more of going forward? Perhaps. What did you make of Boren Woods struggles? I don't have anything to say about that. Let's continue and let's go. Just go to the next game. Against uh, Woking, uh, let's look at the standings. Okay, we're still, we're holding on to that last playoff spot. Woking is at 42 points in 10th. Okay. 
Barnett, 10 games undefeated. Props to them, and they beat us too. It was a, it was a humbling defeat. Humbling defeat. Right. Oldham versus Woking in a couple of days. Let's go to the inbox. International round of Sal Sachdev played for India. They beat Syria two to nothing. We can't be two to we didn't play well out at all. Yeah, that is true. Uh I'm gonna skip this press conference. Oh, I'm not gonna call press conference. Okay, so Woking is in three days. See what's going on here. Okay. Sorry, I'm just reading something here. Okay, let's let's get a win here against uh against Woking to make up for this. We're we're hanging on to the last playoff spot right now. Beach unhappy. I'm not talking to him. He can keep Obi. He can have Obi back for all I care. Uh, let's see. Woking opposition report. Uh, Nana Botang, a uh, good forward. Their final third dominance are, is pretty good. Uh, John Casey can, can tackle pretty good. Their tackling numbers are, are unusual, whatever that means. Okay. So they have they do a lot of strong tackling. All right, let's continue. Uh, we're gonna uh, prepare with you with their transition tack transition phase uh, on set pieces, attacking corners and defending corners. Let's continue. I might play the Bromley match, but we'll see. Okay, this is the suggested lineup. I'm still going to start Langley. Now, if he doesn't play well in this game, then uh, I'll uh, replace him. All of them take on Woking. Our home advantage should give us the edge, but we just lost at home again. Sheridan really that confidence is high at all of them. He said that well, I was perfect for all of them. Okay, he wanted to fire me a, a while back, but whatever. Uh, Dan Gardner has agreed to leave and join Eastbourne Borough. All right. Pre-match press conference. This is a home one, so let's attend that. This should be a quick one. Woking have been disappointing so far this season. They find themselves in 10th place. Do you think there's a chance Woking could take all the points? Uh, they're a fantastic team, capable of beating anyone, and we'll have to be at our best. So, You must be after our reaction after the result against Barnett. Yeah, we want to make things right as uh, quick as possible. Dan Langley has had a fine start to his own career, keeping a superb four shoutouts and seven appearances. This must presumably make you delighted. Yeah, I'm delighted with uh, – he's been almost unbeatable. Are your intentions to attack from the off? I'm always keen on attacking, but we got to take into account their strengths too. Uh, challenges against a team like uh, Woking. Uh, I might have come in as a throwback cell. I think we need to be prepared for anything. Do you fear coming up against Michael Doyle? Uh, I haven't said that I'm scared, so no. All right, let's continue. They've got them. Good for them. I think it'll be a tough challenge. Uh, Michael Doyle, the Woking manager, appreciates the praise that I gave him. All right. Collins Kagami, great. Dan Langley, great. Mark Kitching, great. Training, all right. I'm going to go with Kagame for the next match. And Sean Hobson as well. Okay. Uh, Chesterfield and South End. Uh, Chesterfield in second, South End in ninth, despite a 10 point deduction. So give props to South End 
for their commitment. Fitness test Willoughby, Hudson, Dickinson, Hammond. Okay, it ain't changed. Uh, let's see. Let's trigger a press against Dan Moss. Where's Dan Moss at? Dan Moss, their right wide back. And Marcus marking Rhys Brown tightly. Let's do that. Let's go to team selection. Okay, Langley. Here, Kagame is there. Glover. No, I want to put... Where's the new guy? I want to put uh, Conlon in. I want to put Tollett in, too. Okay. Where's Ben Tollett? I'm going to put him here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest Devon Green. He needs a break. So Glover will be in. I'm gonna play Obi, but let's see. It's Kilner now. Hogan out. Where is Lundstrom? Right here. Shelton didn't play all that great, so. Put in Spencer. Uh, Hallam Hope. I got to get Hallam Hope in there. Even if he's coming off the bench, where is he at? And this Dallas guy. No, Raglan. Come in and uh Okay. No fuck, I'm not putting in Obi. There we go, Raglan, the captain. Put him in there. Devon Green. Need help and hope. Okay, Norman, you gotta get him out of there. Um put the Dallas dude. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, everybody's uh, satisfied and roused and so on. Norwood's gonna start. I need to see something out of Norwood, dude. You suck ass. Starting Raglan in that area, the, the pitch doesn't make sense. Kitching is a really good fit. Okay. Um, we have to win our home games. Okay. Okay, we got some guys inspired here. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's get back on a winning streak here. Walking is struggling. Just a second. Okay, here comes the, here come the teams out of the tunnel. Let's go. The Lewis. Casey, oh, where's the defending? There it is. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's make things happen. Oh, James Norwood hurt already, huh? Okay. 
Okay, that's what's good. That sucks. Okay, well, Reed, you got to make it happen, bro. Let's go. Okay, we're midway through the first. I'm fired up. What's wrong with y'all? Man, we're almost at the end of the first half already. Looks like we're putting the fans to sleep here. All right, here we go. And the first, almost the end of the first half. Lundstrom. Lundstrom. Cross. Tallit, no. Oh, Conlin. Oh, ooh, almost. Corner. Okay, Tallit with the corner. No, no. Andre Jr. catches it. And that's it for the first half. Oh, come on, y'all. I'm not pleased. Unacceptable. Yeah, get out there and do it, Reed. Let's go. Let's go. Lundstrom. That's a Glover. Oh, nice. Nice. Pass it, bro. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, John Casey concedes a corner. Let's go, Conlon. Corner. Hunter Jr. Okay, yellow card on Glover. It's all right. Raglan gets a yellow as well. Stop here. Okay, let's uh put the wrong green in. Talit. Oh, what a move. Talit. Oh, who's the ball? Conlon is there. Conlon. Cross it, bro. Oh. A free kick. Kagami gets a yellow, too. Oh boy, green. What, who are you giving it to, bro? Kitchen. Conlon. No, Conlon. Fuck. Oh, Spencer. Devarn. Yes, sir. With 10 minutes left. Yes, sir. Go ahead and do that flip. Devarn Green. Making Woking pay. Spencer did the work there with the steal, and then Green coming on as a substitute. Okay, can I get Kitching out of there? I'm on to put Hope in there. Praise the team. Good effort. Good hang. Good job hanging in there. Instructions. Let's be disciplined. <clears throat> okay. Pops it. Good job. Conlon. Kagami. Kagami. Oh, oh, Devon. Oh, oh, that was wild. All right. Seven minutes left. Kagami again. Now. Oh, good job. Good pass to Hope. Conlon. Oh, I could have ended it right there. Walker, uh-oh, oh, 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 good tackle, Conlon, 
Kagame, go, go, bro, go. To Talit, back to Kagame. Kagame, oh, okay, all right. Not a bad idea. Okay, Raglan. Spencer, hope, ooh, what a, that was a risky pass. To Kagame, back to Raglan. To Conlon, to Spencer. Back to Hobson. Spencer, Hobson. Raglan. Discipline, stay disciplined. Oh, that was a risky one. To Hobson, Spencer, Conlon. Reed, right there. Tyler. Oh, oh, Tyler. You could have ended it. Uh oh. Green. Long cross. Talit, good job. Eight minutes left of stoppage time. Shoot. All right. Opusina. Wakefield. Grego Cox. That, that's a free kick. Lundstrom gets a yellow. Okay, corner for Woking. Wakefield. Okay. Odusina. Spencer. Yes. Oh. Okay. I was hoping it'd stay in bounds, but Wakefield. Luker. Anderson. Langley. Good. <clears throat> All right. Looks like we're going to hang on here. Uh-oh, Moss. Last one with a match. Anderson, uh-oh. Ooh. Wakefield saves it. Oh, good job, Devarn. And it's over. Yes. Yes, sir. We won five out of six now. Langley. Nice. Devarn Green. Good job. Good job by Hope, too. Okay. Nice win. I know the media have been positive, and I'm satisfied with the performance, but now's not the time to be complacent. Okay, people look more attentive. James Norwood looks hurt. Okay, let's see. Let me see how long that's going to be. And we are we're back to sixth. Okay. How much longer can Walker come in a place on the team without scoring? Uh, Glenn Walker has played good. Ethan Walker's influence has influenced a little bit. He's not. He's not playing bad. All right, let's go. James Norwood injured. Oh, sprained a knee. Okay. So this means that I gotta get Lincoln Green out. Devon Green was the best player on the park during Oldham's one nothing win over Woking. The right went ringer, new winger, excuse me, netted the only goal of the game late to round off his performance. All right. A fierce shot that went in off the post. Chesterfield beat South End. Jordan Ibe gets Player of the Week award. Let's go to the post match press conference. Okay, we're going to need a Lincoln Green to play now. Okay, let's kick this off with the first question. A good result for your side out there. How surprising was it, given your pre-match opinions of Michael Doyle and his team? I'm very pleased with the result. I still maintain that Michael's side play excellent soccer. I'm delighted to have matched him out there. Woking failed to register a single shot on target. Is that a reflection of your dominance today? I cannot praise him enough for that. It's one of the few silches or zeros. I'm very happy my team helped make a reality today. Can you sum up your feelings on Devon Green's late winner? I was ecstatic. In all honesty, you can't buy moments like that one. Another game where James Norwood has failed to find the net is the case simply trying too hard. Striker should... Uh, uh, he's snatching a chance. He just needs to remain calm and the goals will flow. He injured himself and looked potentially serious. Can you estimate how long he might be out? I've, I've discussed the injury. 
How will it affect your squad? We can cope, but it requires a marked improvement from several players. How will the injury affect James Norwood after club short in terms of long, long plans? We don't know. I don't know how long he'll be out. Considering the influence Dan Garner held in the locker room, are there fears of the club that his departure could result in significant harm being done to the atmosphere? Uh, there's always a element of risk when a player like him leaves, but it was the right decision. We'll have to handle it accordingly. All of them have scored a high proportion of the goals in the later, later stages of the half. Some teams try to wind down close to the end of each half, so in turn, we aim to earn uh, step up the tempo. What attributes does Longstrom present that make him effective out wide, even if it might be temporary? He has a good mix of talents that help make him one of the first names on the team sheet, and those only will be solidified if he does well out wide as I expect him. What are your thoughts on Hartful parting ways of Kevin Phillips? It's not my place to comment on that. Done with the press conference. It went just fine. And let's go. Yeah, I'm going to do the Bromley match at home. Let's see what, uh, let's see how we're doing the competition. That was match day uh, 31. Uh, Bromley, where do they sit? Uh, Bromley sit in 12th. Okay. Let's get a win here and let's get a little closer to the fifth spot. And let's, we're five points clear of uh, Gateshead. So I'm, I'm liking that. We're solidifying with uh, 15 games to go our place in uh, the playoffs. A good result. Okay, that's done. Let's continue. We should be happy with the result. We were only a little better than the opposition, but the scoreline is what matters most. That's right. The inbox. Uh, Spencer gets us gets a raise. Okay, good for him. Let's see what we got here. Preparations. Transition phase attacking and defending corners. The training schedule. We've got two matches this week. We're going to need quite a bit of rest. Okay. Okay, the match is tomorrow. Langley starting again. Ooh, Caden Morrill, interesting. Young prospect. 17 years old. Okay. It might work, so we'll do that. Okay, Oldham take on Bromley. Our home advantage should give us the edge. Let's see. Sheridan singing the praises of Kitching. I might put him on the bench, though. Let's attend the press conference. How important do you think the good team spirit as Oldham have been on this recent streak? Uh, there's something to the suggestion that we will play better because we're enjoying our soccer. Are you concerned that if he could see the Morales squad plummet? I don't think one loss can destroy this team's confidence. Is Mark Kitching handling the weight of expectation right now? He's taking everything in his stride and really doesn't seem to be affected. James Moore won't be available. How big a blow is that? It's never nice to do, to be without someone like him, but we'll do our best. Who are you considering as a replacement for Norwood? Uh, no comment. I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. Will Devon Green be decisive? I know Devon can, for, can perform well. Okay, let's leave the press conference. Squad. See, where's Lincoln Green at? Because I need him. Okay, Charlie Jolly. Okay, Alex Reed, but I need another striker.
squad planner. Come on, where's the uh, where's the under eight teams at? Okay, come on. Oh, shit. Where's the under 18? Come on now. Let's look at the schedule here. Lincoln Green played in one of these games. No, come on. Matches next opponent. Oh, club. Vision, not worry about that. Oh, under 18s. Okay, Lincoln Green. Because this year, this is an emergency situation here. Yeah, like now, bro. Like, you're on the senior team, like, right now. Okay, let's continue. Um, and Gula on target, that's fine. Let's look at the weekly staff meeting. Let me attend that. Okay, Sean Hobson has had some strike struggles with pace and acceleration, but I'm not going to do that. Not yet. Dan Ward's corner taking is a waste of time. So let's stop that. We need to end his uh, strength training for Josh Lundstrom. All right, I will recommend ending Tom's com. Tom Conlon's individual strength training. All right. Harley Beckham isn't going to get the playing time he needs, so let's put him on loan. All right. Send Morrill on, Kaden Morrill on loan too. Good. Josh Lundstrom as a fringe player. I'm not going to do that. Let's move on. Will Sun could do with a little more playing time. Okay. Ryan Spencer has been training well. Okay, the team is behind you. Mark Kitching has been playing well. Schedule some praise for him. Let's end the meeting. Follow up actions. Praise him. Please reform. Thanks, I'm happy right now. Two. Okay, good. Okay, a couple more emails. Matthew Hudson. A Bruce Thigh after a heavy challenge. Let's leave it to the physio. A good, we got a good physio anyway. Inbox. Let's go. Let's go be Bromley. Got a lot of emails here. Uh, Noah Chilvers. Elliot Navit, he's not coming here. Okay. Okay, what we got here? Barnett and Rochdale. Rochdale down to second. Solly Hill Moore's is third. Okay. Barnett and Rochdale, number two and numbers five. All right. Okay, Nathan Sharon. After the uh, double hernia. He's going to resume full training. That's good for us. Okay, we got some guys with high injury risk here. But uh, we've got a match. We've got to win here. But I want to, I definitely want to have him hope. 
The wrong room is happy with the promises, fitness tests. Dickinson is pretty good to go. Sharon, not not quite. All right. Let's put Ben Tollett in instead of Walker. Morrill instead of Sutton. It's important to trigger a press when James Venning's got the ball, the defensive midfielder. And let's and let's cover Amanchi as well. Let's do that. So let's switch Sun and Obi. I'm gonna put Langley as the keeper. Then where's Ragley? That's uh Raglan in, let me arrest Thompson. Okay, something's gonna play that Hogan. It's gonna sit for Hobson. And then Norman is oh, where's Kitching? Where's Kitching? Kitching can come off the bench here. Let's put green on the bench. Get McGee out of there. Where's Hope? Where's Hallam Hope at? Where's Hallam Hope? Because Hallam Hope's not in the lineup, not in the starting lineup. Where's Hallam Hope at? Come on. Here we go. Okay, got competent. Where's Lincoln? Uh, is Lincoln Green there? Yes. Okay. Let's put Lincoln Green. Been making it happen on the youth team. Walker, sit down. Where's Conlon? Then, uh, I don't know, I should put Conlon, Glover, Green Kitchen. So part of it wants to put Kagame in. But I'm going to go with this. If I put Dallas here instead of Armstrong. No, I'm hurting the team big time there. All right, let's go. Oh, I might have a problem here. Shit, I'm gonna have to go with Hogan. Why is he at the right defender at? The heck? Uh oh. Sutton on the right side. Let's put Glover in. Oops, crap. Glover. Oh, that's not going to work. Ryan Glover. Uh, it's going to have to. It's 
it's going to have to. And instead of Conlon, I'm going to put a. I'm going to put Kagame. All right, let's do that. Raglan, I can put Kitching in or Sutton. So let's go. Dallas is upset, but whatever. Let's go to the match. Let's win this. Raglan needs a rest. Langley is a good fit. Go. Let's go. Let's go and do this. Ah, oh, shit. Alex Reed. Make me proud. Let's go to the match preview. All right. Come on, guys. Dallas is starting. What's the problem? Why is he fussing? Okay, we're sixth. They're 12. We should be able to win this. We're eight points clear of them. Let's go, guys. There's the handshake. Teams leave the tunnel. Let's go, guys. Holland Hope. Hobson. All right, Hobson, good move. To Hope. <clears throat> Here, what are you doing? Back to Langley. All right. Hobson. Shelton. Oh, Dallas. Oh, to Reed. Go. Yes, sir. One nothing. 36 seconds into the match. What a great start. Hobson cuts inside. Shelton. Great pass to Dallas. Dallas is wide open. Look at this. To Reed. Oh, Dallas with a great pass. I mean, how can I not be happy with that? There was no feedback. Okay. Dickinson. Dallas. Oh, off the cross. Off the... Okay, guys. You guys, you guys are doing good. You guys are doing good. 15 minutes in. Corner. Dickinson. Okay, Smith picks it up. Another free kick, Shelton. What are you doing? To Dallas. Hope. Raglan. Hops it. Oh, okay. Good shot. What fuck you talking to me? Fuck you talking to me. No, no, no. Glover, 30 minutes in. Hope. Oh, Hope making making a run here. Oh, he loses the ball. Okay. Okay, good job, Hobson. To Shelton. Lundstrom. Reed. Tollett. To Dallas. Reed, he's on side too. And it's 2 nothing. Okay. All right. That's a brace for Reed. Great job to everyone. Lundstrom, Reed, Tullet. Oh, to Dallas. And he times it. Jaws. Oh, Reed stays on side. 2 nothing. Smith had no chance. Okay. Dickinson, make it three. Okay. Glover, get it. Glover, Lundstrom. Back to Glover. Hobson, Shelton. Dickinson, crosses it. Oh. Okay, Hope. Okay, we're getting close to the end of the first half here. Let's go. Okay. Fantastic first half. 
Okay. Let's gain confidence. No, 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 no. You're playing well. Keep it up. Start the second half. Man of the match for Andrew Dallas right now. Reynolds. Okay, okay. Oh, free kick. Okay. Uh, that's a corner for us. Okay, we're dominating this game. Dickinson, make it three. Glover, taller. Oh, cheap. Blocked the shot there. All right, Dickinson. Okay. Glover. Oh, cross. Uh-oh. Okay. Good. Dickinson, we're dominating. I'm liking it. Dallas. Ooh. This is the ball there. Hasley. Okay, Hobson. Good job. Back to Langley. Dallas. To Hope. To Tallit. To Dallas. And he scores, and it's 3 nothing. Oh, it's not going to count. Okay, Tyler was offside. Hey, but this team, you you guys are kicking. You're, you guys are putting it on them. Dallas. Glover. Dickinson. Oh, what was that? Okay, good job getting it back. Hobson. Back to Langley. Smart. Glover. Shelton. Hobson. Hobson having a good match here. Raglan. Dickinson back to the captain to Raglan. Raglan making a move. Shelton. Lundstrom. Forward to Dickinson. Back to Raglan. Very smart performance here. Glover making a run. Glover. Shelton. What was this? Lundstrom. Dickinson, cross, hope, and it's 3 nothing, and that is a wrap, folks. We've got it. We've wrapped it up here. Okay. Let's get a let's get rat going out of there. Oh, that was superb. Shelton right there. All to hope. For the Sutton. Bro, just be a professional there, uh, Sutton. Vennings, 25 minutes left. Shelton, hold. Okay, let's rock, and, let's rock and roll here. Glover, Shelton. Okay, good job holding on to the ball. To Dallas. Oh, what a match Dallas is having here. Oh, can you cross it? No. Shelton. Dickinson. Shoots. All right. Dallas. Dickinson crosses. Hope. Oh, okay. Almost four. Come on, y'all. Kicking the we're, we're kicking these guys' as rear end. Okay. Hold on. Arthur's. Woods. Olomola. Sleep. Uh oh. Oof. Okay. Let's demand more here. Come on. Let's. I want more. Should be better. Arthur's. 13 minutes left. Okay. Over the bar. Josh Lundstrom, let's put Kitching in. Oh, what a horrible pass by Tallinn. Uh-oh. 
Oh, that was risky. Okay, we got nine minutes left. Hola, mola. Vannings. All right, we're about to beat Bromley here. We won six out of our last. We're going to have six out of our last seven. Oh, that sucks ass for Langley. I got to berate them for that. Y'all just cost yourselves a clean sheet. Man. Dickinson. Good save. That would have been a great goal. Hold up. Let's get Reed out of there. Let's put Lincoln Green in. Go. Kitchen. Shelton. And that's going to be out. All right. So Lincoln Green's going to get a few minutes in here. Let's press him. Four minutes of stoppage time. We got a corner. Shelton. With the corner. Glover. Shell. Oh, crap. Okay, Dickinson. Ooh. There's Lincoln Green making his debut. Dickinson. Uh oh. Okay, that's. Call him Hope. Shotland. No. Glover. Okay. 30 seconds left. We got this. Hobson. Glover. Hobson. Shelton. Dallas. Lincoln Green. Yes, sir. Four to one in his debut. It won't count. Ah. Oh. Green was offside. Ooh, just barely. Okay, but a good move. And that's it. We win three to one. So we get another win. Defense was solid. Andrew Dallas. My man has my man is here. Okay. No complaints. Well done. Good win. Okay. We're all thrilled. All right. So that's gonna be it for uh uh, this episode of the Veterans Gaming Podcast. So I'm going to do just the uh, press conference here, the post-match press conference, and then I'll uh, I'll end it. Let's see. People who don't like soccer should be forced to watch that, man. They all change their mind. So proud of Oldham. Any aspiring young attacking midfielders out there should watch Andrew Dallas. Yeah, we should get a, try to get a permanent deal for this guy. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to definitely want to keep this dude. This dude's incredible. Andrew Dallas has, has arrived, folks. That's what we've been needing. So the fans want a permanent deal. He didn't score, but he played well with his two assists. South End beat York. Good for them. Let's do the press conference, and then we will end this episode here. Thank you to everybody that watched. If you want to continue to support this show, uh, if you want to uh, support me financially, my cash app is dollar sign veterans gaming 24. You can follow me on uh, Twitch and on YouTube. Just follow my page veterans gaming podcast. Most importantly, spread the word. If you like this channel, if you like the energy that I bring to the show, if you're an Oldham fan, please uh, let all your Oldham fans know that there's a show out here for you guys. And uh, I'd appreciate the support. Here we go. You must be happy with that win. We executed the game plan to perfection. I'm delighted with the performance. Substituting Alex Reed when he was on a hat trick raised some 
uh, keeping it for, for the next game is my next concern. What did you take of the match from a tactical perspective? It was the sort of match I learned a lot from, and I'm pleased from it. Andrew Dallas was in fine form. He was, man, he was terrific. There was a you were still in the market for another play. I'm not talking about that. You could like to keep your cards. Uh, uh, Will Armitage, I don't remember who that is. Hallam Hope had a great game today. Surely after another fine performance, there'll be some more interest. You never know. Uh, what thoughts about you can never second guess anyone. What, did, what was the thing behind your tactical approach? Uh, this is what I know. Uh, Brennan Dickerson to adopt completely. Has Tom spent on the training ground by Brennan Dickerson to adopt a new position has been worth the effort. I know with every fiber of my being that it's been a success. Summary. The press conference went just fine. Our next team is going to be against F Split in four days. Let's advance. They're 21st in the league, so so when we should we should be able to get. So let's look at the schedule uh, for today. We lost to Barnett at home, but we beat Woking and we dominated. Uh, we dominated Bromley. And we are sixth, and we're holding strong to that. All right, so let's save this right now, and then uh, that's it. Uh, that's it for uh, that's it for this episode. So until next time, this is Kevin, and this has been the Veterans Gaming Podcast.